What's up guys? I'm out here in Michigan and we just got our garden planted. Pretty stoked on it. But today, we're not here to talk about the garden. We're here to talk about the van. Now, if you remember when I first started working on the van, uh, we put the lift kit on it. One of my goals originally was to put a badass system in it. I threw some JBL six and a half inch speakers in the front right before I made the trip back home. And they sound okay. You can also see my steering wheel still on. Hasn't fallen off yet. But today, I'm super pumped because I've been talking to the guys over at MTX and they sent over a little care pack for me. All right, so the first speaker we're gonna look at here, we got the six and a half inch, 180 watt Thunder 61. The speakers are gonna get powered by a main amp and that's gonna run to a small amp from there we go to the speaker and then to a tweeter. This says MTX recommends that you have your new speakers installed by an authorized MTX retailer, preferably MECP certified. That's not gonna take place, but we're gonna do our best. So, as I said before, I got four six and a half inch speakers. The other two will be in the back. There's one that goes right here, and there's one that goes right here. Uh, the four by six inch speakers are up here in the pillar. I really wanted this van to have a one-of-a-kind sound. Jason over at MTX recommended that I try out one of his new setups. This is a 12-inch, 1,000-watt square subwoofer. I've never seen a square subwoofer uh, in person, so this is pretty cool. So you open the box, get your template here. It's cool that they put the instructions right on top, so when you open the box, you see them. We have the specifics on the MTX Audio Thunder. And here we go, this gives us an idea on size. We got the woofer in here. I'm not gonna get it out right now um, until I have the box made, which, as you can see, I have a large piece of MDF. We got the jackhammer. Class A, B, plus Class D, power amplifier. This thing is sick. And here we go, we got our base remote. So unfortunately here at the farm, the only wood tools we have are hand tools. Um, my buddy lives down the street, luckily. He has a wood shop, a few other things that are gonna make this process a lot easier. So I'm gonna load up right now, head over there, and uh, get started on getting these speakers in. All right, so we're out here, just showed up at my homie's shop. Big Tom, I've known this guy a long time. Back in the day, we used to hook up some systems. We did, the uh, old Mazda. First car I ever owned, Mazda MX-6, but that had two 12s in it. So this isn't our first Rodeo. We got big Spencer. Spencer here is here helping out. Yeah. He's a local, he lives in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be doing some wiring. Yeah. As of right now, they say they want it 1.8 cubic feet. The box, yes. The port is a little different, smaller. The area. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we are not <laughs> experts here at all. So if you have ideas or whatever, you comment below, let us know what we're doing wrong. But if I was here to- We'll get her going. It's been, it's been a while. I think the last time I hooked one up, I was 16. Yeah, this so. was all high school. Yeah, yeah, I was- 10 years since we done this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So we're gonna get everything out, lay it all out, see what we gotta do. Get that base going. Yeah. All right, so we got everything laid out, super pumped. We got the Thunder 12 inch square subwoofer. Uh, we got our big amp over here. We got four six and a half inch speakers. First thing we're gonna start with is the power cord, correct? Yeah. Yes, we're gonna get the power back to your amp. So right here. Figure out a good spot to mount the amp. Well, there was, this is where you got your winch hooked up to. I wanted to go direct to the battery, but it, the connector's too small. <laughs> you have a 
there's the ticket. Yeah! So we got the head unit out and we realize uh, since this is the cheapest one that I could pick up from O'Reilly's, it doesn't supply us with enough RCAs. I'm running Walmart right now and we'll keep on moving. Just got back from Walmart and we picked up the Dual Tech digital media receiver. The reason why we got this is because of this right here. Because we didn't have enough RCAs. Yeah, you know, we got our subs and our front rear and our backs. So in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna install this. Tom's gonna start messing with the RCAs. Spencer is going to uh, mess with the power. So since we had to go all the way into town to get this stuff, we're already a little bit behind. So we gotta start kicking some ass. Something right. Yeah. yeah. About six more feet. There's your problem. Let's go ahead and take that out. All right, van update. Amp's been tested. It's plugged in. We got our head unit in with our custom wood brackets. And then we are building our box right now. We're just gonna do what they recommend on here and we'll see how that works. Box is looking good. I think that looks good though. What do you think? Looks good to me. So this is a template that MTX provided. And what's the method of cutting this out? I think we're gonna try it with the sawzall. sawzall. The Holy air comes sh along. When you cut it out with a sawzall like that, do you just put it right on the guard? Or? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So with the template, you give it a little really test height. So you got some wiggle room. Yeah. Quite a bit of cleanup. Mm, it actually went pretty straight. Okay. The bulk is out. Now we just gotta clean her up. We <laughs> got Dude. We don't have the right tools. Plugged in all the way? Let's try flipping that around. <laughs> There's another one, but it's battery powered and it's probably dead. What kind of battery? Leave her a little bit. It's in there. Snug fit. It's up to you, Carl. Well, we're gonna have to put carpet underneath that. So it's gonna have to be a little bit bigger. Looks good. Let's send it. Do you know what these controls do? No. 
Get our bass controller plugged in. Test and tune. We are looking good for a test. That's that's fucking loud. I think that's a good day's work. Yeah. Way to go, guys. All right, guys. It's the morning, uh, and I'm working on the van. The boys are outside working, and I need to get this van out of the shop. So I'm just gonna haul ass today and hopefully get this thing all hooked up. We laid everything out last night. As you can see right here, I'm starting on the back right rear speaker first and I'm gonna try to hook it up using this diagram the MTX provided. Right there it gives you an example of what the crossover connection is supposed to look like. And with the time that I have, I plan on putting this piece somewhere on the other side of the door. Like this, zip tied in there. Just got the first six and a half all wired up and soldered the connections on. Gonna give it a test for the first time to see if the six and a half inch speaker will work. Hopefully it will. And then I'll move on to this side. Yeah! One down, three to go. All right, so I'm gonna move on to this door first. I'm gonna take the panel off and then I'm gonna run wire through here and uh, down around here. So I'm having a hard time finding a spot. Let's put these in the door. So what I'm gonna do is drill hole here, hole here. It'll be in the bottom of the door. I'll throw a zip tie on it, call it a day. Voila, that'll work. The homies got done working today. They're gonna help me finish. Danny! <laughs> Danny's a master starter. He's gonna help out. So, gotta get this thing finished up, get it out of the shop. We got our wires running to our hardware down here. Going to put the MTX six and a half inch speaker right in here. We got our door speakers installed. Tweeters, custom job done by Don. First real test, fired up. Oh yeah. There you have it. Van's all hooked up. Big shout out to these guys, Tom, Spencer, and Big Don. Let us know what you guys wanna see next with the van. I'm out. Spencer, what are you doing? All right, so in order to feed these RCAs over to the other side, we're we taped them to this broom and we're gonna shove them through. Hopefully they come off the other side. 
Must have went under the van. 